Hello folks, uh, it's Ron back with a, uh, another video here, kind of like a follow-up or, or a sequel, or part two of a video I did uh, recently on the, uh, the little uh, DJI uh, Mini 2 drone that received uh, quite some substantial firmware upgrades, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, not even a whole week ago now. And one of the upgrades it fixed was, and we talked about this in the other video, I'll link that video in here if you want to see the first one, was the battery discharge issue. And what, what was discovered a couple months ago was if you fully charged your uh, Mini 2 battery up and you left it in this charging hub or you left it in the, in the drone itself in the back, um, it would not discharge to a safe discharge rate, which um, that number would be... Um, I don't even know what the safe discharge number would be, but it certainly wouldn't be 199, 98. You want to get it down to like 50%, maybe less. So uh, I've I've charged these batteries. I'm going to say like maybe last Wednesday or Thursday, and today is t is a Tuesday. So we kind of haven't hit a full week yet, but we've we've got like at least five days or better. And so I haven't moved it out of this hub after I had a full charge. And I say a full charge, but I did do the firmware update on the battery. So it was stuck in the drone for a long enough to the firmware update. So it may be in the high 90s rather than 100% when I put it in here. But I'm gonna put in the drone now, and we're gonna see what discharge down to after five days plus here uh probably uh so okay no further ado let's uh let's get our drone out here uh let's see do we have anything no battery in it right now so we will pull you know this battery that you know hasn't been uh touched since last week get it out of here it kind of still want to come out but uh we're going to put in the back of the drone Okay, and we already have the gimbal guard off. Always remember to take your gimbal guard off and turn on the drone. Now, I've connected the, um, also I've connected the drone to the smart control. When I did my test flight last week, I hadn't done the uh, firmware update to do a separate firmware update to the smart control to make it compatible with the uh, with the Mini 2. So um, I've done that. So uh, what, let's see if we got it bound. I, I think I have it bound. I haven't messed with it few, for a few days. If not, we will go through the body process for you, which is probably better than having it self-bound. So uh, we'll go, okay, let's get everything going and uh, we'll get on with this test. Okay. Uh, let's start up the smart controller by uh, you know, tap a quick tap and then a long tap. So you heard the kind of that vibration going. So it's booting, booting up now. See the DJI logo here. So let's, uh, let's start this little mini up to by same thing. Fast tap and long tap. Okay, not looking too good there. Looks like we got a full charge on the battery there. So I don't know if we got any discharge yet. Um, let's see here. Okay, we've got the um, smart controller going here, and let's hit uh, let's hit uh, connect. It already connected, so it's going to the DJI Fly app. You probably can't see that, but uh, I did have it bound. Okay, there we go. We got uh, new version fixes, optimizes overall app quality. We will do that in a second, but let's move along with the video here. So not now. Okay, so there you see we're, we're in the screen there. And uh, what, if you do not have your um, Mini 2 bound already, what you would do is you would go to the select screen, pick Mini 2, and then you would hit the, uh, the power button on the bottom. You have to hold it until you hear like a certain beep or sound. And then you know that puts it in binding uh, uh, process. And then you bind it to the smart controller and you do the same process to get it bound back to the... Uh, Bring the controller here, so uh, well you, you've seen that a million times on the video. It's no different for this than the other DJI drone. Okay, so let's go to Go Fly now, and uh, let's cancel that. Uh, okay, um, the battery is at eighty nine percent. So um, again, it's been at least five days since I've had this in the hub. I'm going to say. Uh, I probably did it, uh, th I think I did on my updates Friday, I think I put the charge of batteries on Thursday. So let's say all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, all day Monday. So after, you know, I'm going to say it's probably five days now, um, we have not seen much battery discharge. So um, 
I have heard reports from other people that there's did this charge, so maybe I just did not wait long enough, or um, I'm having a problem here. Maybe I didn't get the battery uh, firmer properly done. And so, um, yeah, that's a, uh, you know, this is ongoing test here. Obviously, I'm not where I want to be with, with this, so um, I'm going to end this little video here right now, and uh, I will put the battery, uh, I guess, uh, back in the charging hub again and see, uh, wait a few more days and see if it, um, you know, charges to a proper, uh, you know, charge rate. So, um, and we will get outside, we got some bad weather today, but we will get outside soon and fly the Mini 2 with uh, the smart controller. The reports, uh, you know, you can see the live FPV here. God, I think kind of probably can't because it's too, screen's too bright. But um, it's been reports that there's lag, uh, you know, when you're uh, flying around with it. So, uh, bad, or bad lag. So we will get that out in the field shortly and test all that out. So, um, okay, uh, this has just been a short little video here. Uh, it wasn't my most, su well, successful video, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I can't plan these things out ahead of time. The battery has not discharged, so uh, maybe I just didn't give it enough time. So, okay, well, we will report back on the next video, and, uh, you know, thanks for watching this, and, again, we'll see you soon.